loving Heavenly Father, we pause this morning in the midst of your magnificent creation to give thanks for the freedom to worship, for our families, for this great nation, for the freedom to assemble, for the opportunity to participate with our government. As the pace of life quickens and our daily and personal lives become more challenging, we pray that our perspective on that in life which is truly important will remain focused. Grant us the wisdom to recognize and appreciate the blessings we have received. Grant us the courage to protect and preserve the values we hold dear. On this day, we pray for our nation, its people, and our government. May today's meetings and the meetings that follow be guided by understanding for the concerns of all. Grant each of us a peaceful mind and a loving heart that we might see the beauty and hear the music of your magnificent creation and understand the meaning of it all. Amen. Stand beside her and guide her in the light with the light on the bow. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans what was I'm Tim Finley from Range Magazine and uh, talked to Richard Pombo about it uh, a couple months ago and uh, he is uh, quite serious about uh, taking a really hard look at not only how the ESA works but how it's administered and uh, how we trust what is so-called true science, junk science and, and flat out lies. Uh, I think that one of the things you'll see that will be most important about that is how the ESA has been used by certain groups uh, to present uh, uh, surrogate species such as the spotted owl or or certain other fish species even and so on who turn out not to be as endangered as we think they are but are useful in uh, halting the production of other industries such as logging uh, ranching is becoming a big issue with the sage grouse uh, and the reason is because the ESA is probably the most powerful law in the land and certain people know how to use it and misuse it uh, to force their opinions and their uh, economic theories over the rest of us. So for a lot of people, uh, getting some changes made in the ESA means a serious difference in their livelihood and their future. And I think you can trust that Pombo will uh, lead the way in this and here in Klamath Falls will probably be the first step. You know, it's a, it's a historic time. I'm Frank Tallarico and I live in Marica, California. I've been involved in uh, this uh, industry of uh, natural resources since uh, all my life actually, but since 1986 when we uh, first heard about spotted owls and the takes on national forest land. So we, um, we've been working actively to try to get this Endangered Species Act to consider the socioeconomic impacts on communities in rural America and that's why I'm here. I'm Glenn McKay. I was raised in the valley down here in Doris and to the Lake Malin area and I think they need to fix this thing because uh, the farmers need to water, <laughs> point blank. They need to water to do what they need to do. I'm Ellen Crawford and my uh, parents were Bill and Mildred Rhinus and right now our farm is about 85 years old and I'm still on the farm and hanging in there and hoping that uh, we can continue to get our water so we can grow crops for the whole world.
folks just look around you as this gathering of neighbors. I'm so really proud to be a part of this great community. The Endangered Species Act requires the decision to be based on best available science. Unfortunately, too often, best available science is the only available science. It frequently amounts to little more than unverified and unverifiable opinion. Decisions that seriously affect individuals and communities must be supported by empirical data that represents verifiable, reproducible, peer-reviewed science. We are gathered here to encourage our congressional delegation to continue to work to improve the Endangered Species Act by requiring that decisions be based upon peer-reviewed science. We can accept no less if our natural resource-based rural communities and towns are to survive. Thank you very much and thank you for coming.